a mummification room. I always thought he should still have like a, a book. Hi, Dad, yeah. Mommy. he's got here is three rooms with minor animation that set the scene while you're waiting in queue. This is the first one with a guy getting mummified. This is the second one with a guy being attacked by spiders. And this is the third one where the explorer, it's hard to see in the daylight, but he's looking at a map and there's a couple of um, evil figures in the background. Let me get here into the shadow so you can see him a little better. And the main thing here is the main yard, or the main, the, not the yard, but the main area. This is where you come up and get the candy and so on. Uh, there are, on the right side, this room is static, but you've got an explorer who uh, is minorly, is just going to get impaled by the spikes. And here is the anubis chamber and what we're calling the Anubis Candy Wall. So the chamber has this character who has a motor in him that will make him sway around. And there's a fog machine connected down at the base that will come up and come out of his mouth there. Over there is the figure of Angry Anubis who's mad at the explorer who's invaded his tomb. The staff there is Pex Tubing, which is this sort of um, so water tubing for a house that is actually really good at diffusing LEDs. There's a string of LEDs going up in there. And the other part of it is the anubis wall. You can see that anywhere that's like this, there's cutout in the plywood with some fabric, and there's more PEX tubing back there with LEDs behind each one of these. Here in the staff, there are, there are cutouts all the way, and up here in Anubis's eye. Now let's go back and see what it looks like from behind. The guy in the Explorer costume stands on this platform and there's this control box is going to be up there on that shelf. But this control box has an Arduino in it with a soundboard. And um, there's two buttons at the top here. The green one sets off the Anubis candy wall. The red one sets off the chamber. So the candy wall basically uses this connection here to a string of neopixels that wind down here, back and forth through this. Now this is PEX tubing, like we saw in one of the videos. This is just cheap tubing that's white that diffuses the light. There's a piece here, a piece here, and a piece here. Now this black tube, this is what they're going to drop the candy down so the candy comes sliding down here and into the tray. Then the neopixels come down up over here through this tubing, up through this tubing, and then loop over to the eye right there. We walk around to the other side. The red button will trigger the Arduino in this box. And what this Arduino does is it controls the NeoPixels in Anubis's staff there. It also has 
a relay shield, which turns on the power to the figure there. And then down at the base, you can't see it, but hiding behind that um, big vase there is a fog machine with a separate fog machine controller in it. This gets to the signal. There's a wire here that goes out all the way to the front. This sees the wire, the button pressed. It starts the routine. We have a small amp there and a speaker on the other side of the wall, same sort of thing on the other end.